My next guest today has appeared in over 30 films, 50 television shows, and dozens of stage productions. He's amazing. He's also been the host of the Jazz at Lincoln Center radio program. By the way, he plays the trombone. That's pretty dope. Please welcome to the Wonderama house party, my good buddy, Wendell Pierce, everybody. Hey, David, how you doing, man? Happy oh, Wonderama. Man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yes, man. Thanks for coming at the house party today. Oh, thanks for having me. I always like to party. Love the house. <laughs> well, you're at home right now. You're in New Orleans. You having a party yes. down there? Uh, yeah, it's great, you know, actually getting a chance to read a lot, getting a chance to spend time with my father. He's 95 years old, you know, so these are golden, golden times, precious moments. So uh, I'm trying to take advantage of the time uh, that we have together. So uh, that's the best part of it. And uh, staying safe and healthy. That's good. I'm so glad to hear that. And 95 years young, your dad, please give him yes. our best. And, I will. Uh, I will. It's so, so, so nice, nice to, to be together, together as family, isn't it? Uh, there's nothing that counts so much as family. They're the best right. connection to your past and most likely to be there with you in the future. You have done so much with your career. I mean, everyone knows I you from The Wire, Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, Suits, Chicago PD, Malcolm X on film, Ray, Selma, it goes on and on, stage productions. What has been your favorite thing? And it's like oh. picking a child. What's oh, been your on. most amazing experience as an actor? That, that, is, that is one of the most difficult things uh, to, to answer because you can't, like you said, it's like family. It's like picking a child. You can't. Yeah. But I always try to go by this mantra. It's about the work that you do and the people that you meet. Those are going to be the lasting memories. The thing that I love about my job is that it's taken me around the world. And I've met so many incredible, incredible people. And I've learned so many different things because as an actor, you get to do so many different things and you, uh, uh, and you find out, you know, what someone else's hobby is or, you know, another way of uh, working or someone's profession. And uh, especially for your audience, man, gives gives you a chance to maybe see what I want to be when I grow up because I'm like just a big kid. Man, you have, have a foundation at Juilliard, which is just amazing. Uh, who are your mentors throughout your life that inspire you? Uh, first of all, my parents. Um, my parents taught me uh, this mantra, and uh, I, I, it stays with me. I think about it all, every day. Can't die three days before the creation of the world, so don't ever tell me you can't do something. You are such an advocate for some great things. Tell me a little bit about Fair Count. Well, listen, um, this is really important. The census happens every 10 years. Uh, and it's happening this year. It's been extended because of what's happened with the pandemic. Um, but you have until October to be counted. All it is, don't be afraid to answer the questions. You're protected by law. Anybody gives out any information about you, they go to jail. So you're protected by law. And it's the way that you determine how many people live in your community, who lives in your community, and those numbers determine federal funding and appropriations and for school and for infrastructure and for government, local government. And all of those things are important, especially for your audience, young people. It happens yeah. every 10 years. So if you're not counted now, these next 10 years, that's going to take you from childhood to young adulthood. You're not going to have all the resources that you should have, your libraries, the internet, the support that you get from that, the support of your schools, um, supplies at your schools, access to events around town, making sure that there's funding for events around town and making sure that you have funding to help you as you prepare in school to go out into the world. And so the next time you're gonna be counted, you're gonna be, it's gonna be 10 years from now. You're probably yeah. not gonna be a kid anymore. And yeah, you're gonna right. miss the opportunity to get all the help that is out there to make sure that you get a good start in life. And so that's why I please tell your parents, your aunts, your uncles, your friends, to make sure that we're all counted, especially kids, because this is to make sure that you have the resources that you're gonna need to start off really well in life. Yeah. From your wonderful childhood to young adulthood. It's these next 10 years depend on you being counted today. These next 10 are on today. So remember that and be counted. Uh, I'm with a group called Black Theater United, and we have partnered with faircount.org, which is an organization to make sure that people get out and 
and, and you can go online and take the census, 2020census.org. And it's just a couple of questions and you're done. You can do it in the next five minutes. Actually, if you're in the sound of my voice, the next five minutes, go online and be counted right now. Yeah. And it's very easy, it's very simple, but faircount.org is an organization that can take you through it step by step. If you go to faircount.org, they'll take you to the census, link you to the census website and take you through it. So be counted and don't be left out. Be counted, don't be left out. We can't thank you enough for coming on to the Wonder on my house party and bringing so many words of wisdom, some great vibes, great advice. You can come back anytime, man. 